<laughs> I've been crying here. I, I was suddenly con totally overwhelmed. I, I mean, thank you guys so much. I'm really moved, actually. I'm going to start crying again, so I'm going to not. But um, I suddenly was like, I just don't expect, I don't expect to win. The nomination followed by the reception of the film, that was enough. And, and it's, it's amazing, Sam. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, wow. I'm so excited for yeah. you, as you know. And we know this is your third one. So do you think this is the one you should have won? Uh, third time lucky, I said, uh, yeah, third time lucky. You know, I don't know, maybe the other two nominations, Sam, sort of prepared me for this role. You know, maybe, maybe those roles, Amy Dunn and Murray Colvin, they kind of gave me, you know, the sort of wickedness and the grit to tackle a character like Marla. Um, I think sort of Amy's manipulativeness plus Marie Colvin's fierceness and humor, maybe they combine and you get Marla. Um, it, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, I don't think you ever feel you should win, but you know, you, you look at, one of the things was I was at the Netflix nominees uh, Zoom call last night, and you just see the breadth of, um, of of content out there, and you think, well, I mean, none of, you know, my movie is just one of a plethora of wonderful pieces of work. So, you know, how how on earth did I get? You know, you see that, and you think, how on earth did I get nominated in the first place? Um, so it just, it puts it in context. I think that's always the best thing about award ceremonies is you're situated in the year of, of, of creativity and you suddenly see it all together under the same spotlight. And that's, I'm not making any sense. I am aware that I'm not making any sense. <laughs> but I'm oh, trying to say that you feel, part of a <laughs> moment. you feel part of a creative moment and the award shows spotlight a single creative moment. And it's always very exciting to be part of that. Yeah, but the thing about your roles, uh, uh, Rosamond, you always pick really strong women who challenge the world and they challenge themselves and they achieve great things. Um, and that's what is really admirable about what you do. Um, and is that something, as if there is a message in your work, is that how you do it? That's what attracts you to these uh, roles. And Marla is like the rest of your roles. It's just, she's very tough, isn't she? I mean, Marla, I knew she would be fun. I knew she would give people a fun ride. I knew she would challenge people. And if I got it right, then they would be challenged, but they'd want to go on the ride with her. And that, that was what I saw when I read the script. I thought, this is so dark, but done right with the right tone it'll be irresistible because she is irresistible because her, you know, she's smart and she's deplorable. But when something deplorable is done with such intelligence, you kind of admire it. And I thought, if we can pull this off, it'll be wickedly fun. Um, so really with Marla, I, I, I just thought this is gonna be fun and it's gonna give the audience a fun ride too. You know, I wasn't yeah, trying I to change the world. <laughs> but you did, I mean, this year you also had Marie Curie, and it, she's also one of the greatest women ever she lived. She did change the world. Yes. Yes, and so there, there was a woman who did change the world, and I did want to put Marie Curie on screen, you're right. I, I thought, you know, nobody, too few people know the real magnitude of Marie Curie's life and work. So, yeah, so I give you one, I give you one person to aspire to. <laughs> And one person <laughs> to show you how not to behave. So there you go. I can do both. Yeah, yeah that's very, it is, the stuff you do, it's very rich. And that's what obviously makes it really exciting. But one last thing, uh, Rosamond, is your dress. How did you get into this dress at this late hour? It's, you're still in Prague, right? Well, so... because I'm all dressed up <laughs> with nowhere to go. And I thought this dress encapsulates the idea that we are all dressed up and nowhere to go. And I thought I, I have to, it, it's the most, I had much more sensible options, Sam. You can imagine I had things that uh, <laughs> were much more sensible, but to me, this seemed like the dress I would have fun in. Bye -bye. 
<laughs> so Thank are you, you going to celebrate now in this late hour? I, Early hour. I, 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 I might go for a, I might, you know what I do, might do? I might take this dress for a walk through a deserted city at night. That seems to be a pretty good use of it, I think. Is it the nice weather? Yeah. I, I can't wait to see the Golden Globe. My, my children were asking me a lot about it, a lot of questions that I couldn't answer about what it actually looks like and whether it's real gold. <laughs> so I couldn't answer any of them. It is real, tell them. Uh, <laughs> okay. it, is it is real is, gold. Yeah, it is. So, Rosman, it's so it is. First, I'm so excited for you. Yes. And congratulations Thank again. Thank you, Sam. I'm and I can't wait it's to see you again honor. soon. Fantastic. It's the best honor, Sam. Thank you so much. Thank you.